From News 5, here's your Power of 5 weather and today's top stories, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Happy Thanksgiving to you. I'm Power 5 meteorologist Ramesha Shade. We've gotten rid of all of that strong wind that produced power outages, knocked down some trees. It will be fairly quiet tonight. We should be mainly dry but chilly, to dipping to the low 30s. Big forecast for tomorrow. It's Black Friday, big shopping day for many of you. We'll start off cold around freezing by 8 a.m., so make sure you throw on the coat before you race out to get the best deals. Only climbing to 40 with mostly cloudy skies by the afternoon. Enjoy. Rob? All right, let's check out today's top stories. A deadly start to this long Thanksgiving weekend. A suspected wrong-way driver slammed into a semi and several other cars. Last night, just before 1130, one man died. Another person rushed to a local hospital with serious injuries. More lakefront apartments could be coming to downtown Cleveland, according to Cranes Cleveland. The same real estate company that built the Shoreline Apartments in North Coast Harbor just closed on a five acre piece of land next door. They plan to build two apartment buildings with four stories each. That's a total of 214 apartments. And the Lorraine Titans marching band with some national exposure today. They marched in Detroit's America's Thanksgiving Parade. That parade broadcast to more than 185 cities nationwide. For the latest news and weather, go to news5cleveland.com or open the News 5 app. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.